If Wendy snuck her beef into a Whopper, would we even know? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Very few fast food places have reached what we call the Hall of Flavor Fame. Mm. Did, when I said hall, <clears throat> something kind of came up from here. I mean, no, don't. Oh, I was just gonna, it's already up. I was gonna loosen it up. Hall of Flavor Fame. This is when a chain has created such a specific taste that you immediately recognize it. We talk about it a lot yes. with McDonald's. Well, and we think that we're pretty good at it. For example, we can pick out a McDonald's burger, a Burger King burger, in a lineup. <laughs> pretty easy, come on, who do you think we are? <laughs> so today we're making things a little more challenging by literally mixing things up. Right, like, like if I took my tongue and placed it in your mouth, would anybody even notice? I, I, I don't think you meant for that to sound the way that it did sound, because I hope. No, your tongue would be in my mouth. Dude. I think if, if, like, if my tongue was replaced with your tongue, would I notice? But uh, the way you phrased it. But that then your was, tongue. We're swapping out recognizable ingredients from Burger King and replacing them with ingredients from other well-known restaurants to see if we can tell what's what. It's time for Fast Food Frankenstein. Burger King. Okay, it's been a while since we last did this, so here's a reminder of how it goes. We're gonna taste menu items from Burger King that have had one or more ingredients or more. swapped out and another fast food chain's ingredients Frankensteined in. This is, we're just playing with ourselves here. <laughs> you know? You keep, yeah. This show, man. Yeah, right. Uh, if we can identify which ingredient is different, we get a point. Uh, we also get a point if we can name the restaurant that it was swapped in. Oh, okay. That's an additional point. We're gonna taste the original item and compare it and then see if something has been discovered. Yes, and the winner gets a one of a kind Franken scepter. Hi. All right, mm. Stevie, what do we have here? First up, we have the ham, egg, and cheese croissant, which in this round, only one item has been swapped out. Croissant, which you say? Yeah, you say it so proper. I, we croissant. Say croissant. Well, I, okay, I was back here going, is it croissant, which? And then it sounded a little redneck, and so. Ain't so nothing wrong said, with a little redneck. Croissant, which? Which sounds fancy. Are we allowed to dissect this thing as Red is doing? Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah, bro. Now I can definitely tell that this ham has a darkened edge. Does Burger King darkened, ham have a darkened edge? I don't think Burger King ham has a darkened edge. I mean, reminder, you're playing against each other here, so. Well, I, and then this egg here has a yellowed section. I don't think Burger King has that either. That could be any cheese. Boy. I mean, it could be the actual edged ham. Chris sandwich. Now, the one thing I do know is that In N Out does not serve croissants. Chris sandwiches. Croissants. So mm. In N Out doesn't serve breakfast. So I can at least take that one off the table. Okay, so yeah. the mystery ingredients uh, can potentially come from the following options Shake Shack. McDonald's, Arby's, In N Out, Carl's Jr., Popeyes, Wendy's, Long John Silver's. Hey, here, hey, hey, how about that? DQ and Jack in the Box. Yeah, and I have my answer. Are we three, two, one in this thing? Because I don't, I, or you can go first. Uh, no, I think we should three, two, one. Three, three, two, two one. one. Darkened ham. See, that's a good guess. I, I think that, that the Jack in the Box. Uh, I don't know if the darkened ham is a great guess, but I, but I feel like the egg might be different because of what you said. See, but Arby's has the meats, and you look at that's some high quality meat. That's too high quality for Burger King. No offense, King. This Frankenstein, you see what I did? Because it was Frankenstein, I said Frankenstein. Yeah, croissant. Ha ham, egg, and cheese croissant, which contains another fast food chain's egg. <sighs> and it's a, you get a point. Wendy's uh, egg, to be specific. I got down to Jack in the Box and Wendy's because I remember they do a fresh cracked egg at one of those I didn't know places. Wendy's did an egg like that. Yeah, it's a fresh cracked egg, bro. Burger King bringing that ham. Yeah, throw it in now. Don't be don't be shy. We so gotta compare Burger this. King, you're doing the dark edged ham. So if we look at the um The Burger King egg is all yellow. Like it's a see, mix. It's I like was an right. egg, egg mix. But look how dark that edge is on that ham. Yep. That's because it wasn't swapped out. No. Hmm. See, I love a scrambled egg. I don't I don't like this. I prefer fried the, egg. the Wendy's egg. I prefer it. They're both good, but I prefer the Wendy's egg. Okay, well, 
I don't know if it's worth the trip. You huh? got a point and your preference. Okay, we have the chicken we, we deluxe know we like sandwich. This. And this menu item has two ingredients <laughs> swapped out. Look at that. It's <sighs> so big. I'm just gonna take a bite, because I like this sandwich. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's different. That is nice. It's crunchy, it's tall. I didn't I didn't know that it had tomatoes on it. How, how many, is it just one? There's two. I will say, we love the chicken so much on the show. It was the number one ranked chicken sandwich that we tried. Mm-hmm. I went and I got the spicy version just on my own time. <laughs> yeah. You know, not, not on work time. <laughs> it's real good, but you would have complained about how much sauce was on it. They like to sauce things hard. And how King. spicy is it? That's why I'm, I'm looking at this sauce, because this is sauced reasonably. But then there's more sauce on top. What are they doing putting a tomato on it? They're just trying things, man. I'm looking at this lettuce. I have it, thoughts. I was blindfolded last time I ate this. This is not really helping me. Now, they could be. They could have switched out the whole chicken. The, you know, Link. They could have. They, they could have done any any one of those. They could have done a Popeyes thing. Because there are no rules. Thinking that they're really cute, you know. Right. We're gonna put the Popeyes chicken. And um, you got this crosshatch bun. There's just so much going on. Now, here. one thing I will say. Once a, a, an ingredient has been used from a place, that place can no longer be used, right? Just the whole Correct. place. So like Wendy's was first round, no more Wendy's. So it makes it a little bit easier. Do, do you have an idea? I'm having a hard time with yeah, this. Yes, I do have an idea. And um, hmm. I have an idea what's been switched out. I don't exactly know where it's from, but I feel like I have a guess and I am ready for it. Okay, this is a, this is a two ingredient, remember? So slowly link well, together. Well, hold on, I, I gotta figure okay. out what my second All thing right. is. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready. Three, Three two, two, one. one. I think that it's a Arby's bun. And I think that it is a, oh, you think it's a Popeye's chicken? It's not. Hold on, you can't be doing this, you gotta place it. You I'm gonna place it. You're cheating now though, cause. No, cause I'm not. You, no, cause like you're not making, no. you're making all kinds of decisions no, now. No, that one. So I, I agree with you that it's a different sauce, but I don't think it's the Popeye sauce. I think it's this the Popeye's X on chicken. on the bun? No, it is not the Popeye's chicken. Huh. Okay. It might be, I, I thought it might be Carl's Jr. chicken, but. It's a good chicken. Okay, so I was I was laughing internally when, when uh, Link was like, this is such a good sandwich, because it's kind of like not a chicken at all, because we swapped the bun, the bun and, the, and chicken. the chicken. That's what I thought. I yeah. knew it was the bun and the chicken. Dang and the, the chicken is Popeye's. Yes. And the bun is Arby's. Arby's. So you, right. you, you both so did. I, I okay. got a point. You we got, both a got point. Uh, We actually both got two points. Yeah, we did. Because you were right about this and where it's from, and I was right about this and where it's from. What, so so that that is the that's the sauce they put on it, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's let, yeah the bre the bread the bread original one the bread really didn't work, but yeah I, I need to I need well, to. Well, also this. you and you really do like the Popeyes chicken sandwich, right. so that was the gag there. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, I just felt so sure. Look at the yeah you, you know what that cross on the bun yeah I should have seen that yeah look at how much better this bun looks it's see but the the chicken I've eaten all the edge of my chicken you can't really tell. I think the chicken's better at Burger King. I'm sorry, Popeyes. See, I don't think so. Because this is the Burger King, yeah. I like the flavor profile more. <laughs> I'm still on Team Popeyes. Um, I'm still on Team Chicken, and I don't care. I'll take it to my grave. In fact, I would like to be buried with one. Now, we could have gone Whopper, but yeah. that would be too boring. So, we have the Bacon Whopper Melt here. Uh, and what? three of the ingredients have been swapped out. Three. Three. I heard that. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite first before I dissect. All right, that's fair. Mm. Well, did I get any on me? I immediately tasted something that was Foreign to Burger King. First oh. of all, this is not good. This is kind of a nasty sandwich. I don't. I don't really like how this is coming together. Um, there's definitely. So, I don't think I've had a a. Uh, 
That is a lot of bacon. Good gosh, that's a lot of bacon. Okay, I just learned something. I learned something about the meat. What is that sauce? So you, 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 they call this a Burger King melt? Uh, it is a bacon Whopper melt. It looks delicious until you just did what you did to it and then said it was really bad. I don't know why it wouldn't be good. Hmm. It's, hmm. It definitely does not come together. Okay. I believe that I have my guesses locked in, friend. Um, well, give me a second. Oh, there's onions. Onions are included in this. Are you ready? Because I am. I have been for quite, for quite a while now. <laughs> okay, here's a three, two, one. I mean, three, this two, is freaking one. complicated. You, are you ready, Link? Three, two, one. Oh, uh, gosh. And then the third one. What am I doing? Shake Shack sauce. Ah, uh, you know In what? and out burger. Jack in the box bun. There's only two that have been replaced, right? Three. Nope. <laughs> Too late, man. Uh, then I. Too late. I've already done my answer. You're cheating. That, see, and now you just copied my answer. No, I didn't. I know I didn't. Yes, I mean, you did. I, Jack I, in the box bun. But I put it on the bottom bun. <laughs> Were you thinking that already? The bun. I. It, to me, it was. I know this is definitely Burger King meat, without a doubt. I mean, because it's got that flame broil taste, unless somebody else is doing exactly the same thing. No, they replaced one of the patties, but not the other one. You didn't taste both patties. I think you're right about the Shake Shack sauce because it's got that stuff in it. Well, they already know. The sauce is different. Okay, we went big on this one. Replaced the buns with Jack in the yep. Box yes. buns. See, I, I don't love you getting those two points. I, I didn't. I didn't take the answer from you. I, I went back to my. It, that's obviously not a McDonald's bun. They don't have it. It's not a DQ bun. It's not a Long John Silver's bun. And Shake Shack doesn't have that bun. So process elimination. A, a million times out of a million, I would have done Jack in the Box bun. I believe the you. Bacon is from Shake Shack. Oh, I, I did not like and the bacon. One of the burger patties is from In-N-Out. Yes. One of them is from In-N-Out. Yep, and the other one's from Burger King. I only ate the one from Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tasted both of them, man. Oh yeah, look, they're totally different. Oh, we, we always forget to eat the actual thing, which I don't think I've ever tried this, so. I didn't know, I didn't know it was a, a thing. I mean, oh yeah, look at the bun. The bun is totally different on the Whopper melt. It's I light. mean, this looks better. That sauce is too much. I like the Burger King version better because it feels like it's all made for each other. Okay, you think you know what the best root beer is, but have you tried 15 side by side? Well, that's what the team at Spork is doing. Okay, go over to Spork.com. They're tasting everything to let you know what you should be buying at the grocery store. Okay, Spork.com. It's entertaining over it's there entertaining. Spork. It's entertaining. But it's also important. Important. And utility. <laughs> it's a utility. Stevie, what do we have before us? This is the Big Fish Sandwich. And surprise, in this round, I will not be telling you how many ingredients we've swapped. Now, I can't say that I've ever had the Big Fish. Okay. I think you have had it on this show, though. We got Dairy Queen, Long John Silver's, Carl's Jr., and McDonald's still in play. Huh. When's the last time you ate at a Long John Silver's? I, I can't tell you the last time I saw one. When's the last time you saw one? That's a good point, man. I mean, are they camouflaged? This is interesting. So these pickles are very cucumber-like. It's almost as if they might come from a cucumber. I, I, they just don't seem that pickled. This lettuce here, this lettuce is kind of sad. It feels like this fish is recognizable, but then it also feels like it's not recognizable. The fish isn't very big for a big fish. That's true, it's called a big fish. This is not easy. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I actually have to put these on things in order to figure uh, this out. It's like... <clears throat> Oh, 
Uh, um, <sighs> you're right. That's what has to be done. What is, what is even at a Dairy Queen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Just don't look at mine. There's too much, too much work to be done here. Let's let's go. Let's three, just two, start going. Three, two, one. I'm not looking at your stuff. I'm not looking You're at not your looking stuff at either. my stuff. Oh, God. what the hell? Boy, you went for it. Like, I thought that this was a McDonald's fish fillet. That's what I thought. But I think the fish fillet is a perfect square, and this is a rectangle, and also you could see the fish. Pieces oh, you too know what you're right. You're right because it's the cheese that's not a perfect square. That's why I went with Long John Silver for this because I've never had it, and I figured they probably do fish well. It tastes pretty good. They, they got to do something good. There. Somebody's got to do the tartar sauce. Let's just hear it. The bun was not swapped out. Okay. Oh, so we're both wrong about that. The tartar sauce. It's from Carl's Jr. Dang it. Oh, but you were hurting. right. You were right that it was swapped out. So you get a point for that. Yep. The lettuce, not swapped Dang out. Dang it. Yes. The, the pickles, pickles were definitely not swapped uh, out. But the fish. Is it oh, the fish was swapped out. I think out. you were right. And it was from McDonald's. Oh, shoot. It is from McDonald's. So it isn't a square. Dang. So I've been that, I've been thinking that. So the what does fish that do for our points? I pulled it off. Yeah, yeah you did it, Link. See, y'all were playing me as dumb this whole time, but now who looks dumb the whole time? The whole time. Um, Everybody but me. See, the big fish is bigger, but it's also a square. Is it better than what we just had? I don't. I don't is it a square? That's a lot of pickle too. I don't know, everybody thinks you're smart right now. Don't tell them you don't know what a square is. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad. The big fish is better. Not bad at all. Mm-hmm. So, I think across the board, I don't believe we improved anything by switching. Yeah, we didn't find any swaps worth swapping out, man. But you win the Franken Scepter, and you can deploy it however you see fit. Oh, I like that. It's it's a it's a fish nut squawking, quacking looking thing. Oh, but it walks. Exactly, but <laughs> with feet. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Rhett, let me tell you something, brother. My name's Tyler. I'm from Corbin, Kentucky, and I challenge you to a hair and beard off. But seriously, it's time to spin that wheel of mythicality. I mean, I was scared there for a second. I was before he said seriously. I thought I was seriously going to have a hair and beard competition. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us find out which fast food cookie tastes the most like a homemade cookie in Good Mythical More. And about where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Mythical and proud all year round. Shop our always proud collection where a portion of profits will benefit our friends at Outright Action International, available now at mythical.com.